Hello and welcome to PLZ Soccer. This is your Scottish Evening News Bulletin on Wednesday. Tonight's Premiership match between Livingston and Celtic hangs in the balance as attempts to clear the pitch of snow are completed. Livy's game with Aberdeen was postponed last week due to an unplayable pitch, but the club believe they can get the green light before the 8.15 kickoff. Speaking to Hoops captain Scott Brown yesterday, he spoke of Livingston's surge in form and what his team worked on in Dubai. They've uh, had eight wins, one draw against us and they've done really well. But for us, we... Every, t every time we go to Dubai, we work extremely hard on different formations and last year we went away, we worked on 3-5-2 coming back, so that we had that up our sleeve as well. And this year we went away, worked on 4-4-2, 4-3-3 as well, so we can chop and change formations and that, that's what the manager likes, that's what the gaffer, uh, he wants us to be able to chop and change during games. Deputy First Minister John Swinney has called Celtic manager Neil Lennon's claims of a Scottish Government agenda against the club absolutely appalling. Lennon said politics, not public health, drove the decision for Celtic hoops players and staff to self-isolate after Christopher Julien contracted Covid. Swinney said he was lost for words. And Motherwell have posted a profit of nearly £350,000 for the year ending on the 31st of May 2020, a positive swing of £782,000. Despite the pandemic, the club's turnover rose to £4.95 million and does not include the sale of David Turnbull to Celtic. Thanks for watching and don't forget you can like, share and subscribe to our Facebook, YouTube and Twitter channels where you'll also catch up with the football show Peter and Ruffy. They'll have discussed all of today's stories with the panel and exclusive guests.